Hello guys, I am back. We are still talking about politics, what is trending, what is going on in Nigeria. So good morning, good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day. Okay guys, um, you have seen it all on your screen. Uh, so according to Mbazulike Amechi, what will happen if Peter Obi loses? Yes, I know for now um, Peter Obi supporters will be like, God forbid, but in, it can never happen. I reject it. Yes, even Bazulik himself will say, God forbid. Okay, guys, um, I'll give you more details. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your bell notification so you get updates uh, whenever we are talking about uh, political um, videos, what is going on, what is trending. So, ahead of the uh, 2023 election, um, for those of us that don't know, um, Bazuliki Amechi, he was the first Republic Evasion uh, Minister, revealing what will happen for Nigeria if, uh, for any reason or eventually, the candidate of Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, losses in next year presidential election. So, according to Amechi, if Obi losses in the election, it will mean that God created Nigeria to suffer. Yes. Okay, um, let me quickly um, give you what he said. Uh, he also warned that nothing untoward should happen to Peter Obi ahead of the 2023 election, uh, stating that the Nigeria situation would worsen if anything happened to Peter Obi. So, in his word, he said, I don't think it was just an accident that Peter Obi emerged. I think it was God's way. If anything happens to him, it would worsen the situation in Nigeria and the situation may degenerate to something non-describable. If they are afraid of Peter Obi, who is just a beginner, why should they not be eternal, eternally afraid? Peter Obi is the only governor who left office and nobody asked him any question. He didn't know the office of EFCC, ICPC or DSS. Because of his clean record, the man who succeeded him wanted to leave the country two hours he handed over, meaning he wanted to sneak away. Many other governors who left office has been arrested and charged to court, but they ran into Senate or APC as a party, and today their cases are closed. That's the kind of rotten country you have, yet people are suffering and may continue to suffer. I don't think God created us to continue to suffer. The 2023 election is an opportunity he's provided for us to uh, right the wrong. You will see how the whole world will embrace Nigeria if Peter Obi wins election and all the criminals and looters will melt away to Dubai. All right, guys, so that was from uh, Amechi. Uh, that, uh, yes, of course, everybody knows that uh, Peter Obi, the only governor who left the office without knowing the office of EFCC, ICPC, or DSS. Of course, because of his clean hand. And the person who took over, we already know, I don't want to mention names, uh, wanted to run away just two hours, just two hours after handing over because he knew what he was about to face. Just two hours and he was arrested at the airport. I mean, if you, if you are clean, if you are clean. Now, just as um, when something goes wrong, you will see somebody uh, who hires about 15 senior advocates of Nigeria to go and defend him in court. They will be arguing about somebody's educational um, certificate. The person will hire son. I mean, if you have this certificate and if you had attended this uh, school, just as you are being accused of, what is the most you hire lawyers? Just prove. Make a proof. They now go to the school and make some findings. You don't need to spend money uh, for a senior advocate or hiring lawyers and whatsoever. I mean, to pay a senior advocate to represent you in court, I think it should be up to 10 million, 5 to 10 million naira, depending. And you see somebody who hire 10 senior advocates to go and defend ordinary WAIEC result, ordinary WAIEC certificate or I don't know what to say. But Peter will be the only person who was not charged to court for the fact that he is a beginner. This man knows that Peter will be is the right man for the job. 
But because of greediness, because of greed, they are fighting against him. Okay, guys, uh, let me know what you think. I quickly want to update you what Mbazulike said. What will happen in Nigeria if Peter B losses 2023 election? That means uh, Nigeria will be created to suffer and people will continue to suffer. Unemployment everywhere, hunger, prices of commodities, triple. People who ate, and they are not even talking about increment in salary. People who survive 50,000 naira with their family monthly. They cannot even survive 100,000 this time around. And no increment in salary. A lot of people have lost hope in Nigeria. Yes, to be frank, that is the truth. Except you are chronic thieves. Except those ones. Uh, sometimes I tell people, don't think these politicians are rich. They are not rich. When you look at them as rich men, then you don't know what you are talking about. They are not rich. They are thieves. All right, guys, um, let me stop there without wasting your time. If you have anything to contribute, let us discuss on the comment section below. See you guys in another update.